You know, I think the, the big thing for us is this is the first time that we've been able to have a, a good summer segment. And what I mean by that is our strength and conditioning guys were able to get uh, their hands on a voluntary workout with our uh, with all of our newcomers and being able to put all those guys together and start that team unity already in the summer in the weight room and, and working hard uh, that's kind of been the thing that I've been the most pleased with so far you got to feel like what you're doing here is, is working for the first couple of years don't you yeah you know I think uh, we're winning ball games uh, maybe we're not winning the right ball games right now and that's something that uh, that I take personally I mean we need to go in a, in the conference play uh, and feel like we belong in the SEC. And, and, you know, we know that that magic number is you got to win 15 games. And that's not easy. I mean, that's for the established programs that's been in the SEC forever. They, they know that that 15 win plateau is never an easy task. And, and uh, we, we've been close to it. Uh, but now it's time to, to jump over the hump. We're right in every single game we play. It's not like that, uh, that we go in and, and feel like we don't have a chance. We really feel confident and we've been right there and we've done things that, that haven't been done before with you know, the Vanderbilts and the LSUs and Mississippi States and all those things. Uh, but now it's to the consistency point. We just have to be more consistent. And uh, there, there's something to be said about teams that know how to win. And that's that we got to take that next step of just being uh, a winning team and, and know that we're going to win. Who's leading you right now? TJ Sikkim, Cameron Meisner, those guys as being juniors. Uh, both of their guys probably the last year in the program. I mean, you have a chance, they're going to have a chance to, uh, to move on to the professional level. And we expect big things out of those guys. And then they bring it on the field every day. You know, probably the biggest thing that we have going for us is just our senior, our senior class. I mean, these are guys that they've bought into the culture. They've been here. This is their third year. Uh, they know what the culture is. They know what the commitment to excellence and uh, means to, to me and to this program. And and they're really having that. There's great buy-in. There's a lot of new faces on this this year's roster with with the eight guys going out to pro ball. Uh, losing some of our seniors. I mean, there's there's a big turnover once again in our program. Uh, we're about 50-50 on, on guys that are returning and newcomers. So, uh, you know, I think that senior class is, is really ready to take that step and, and kind of lead guys in the right direction. If you're a young guy in this program, is this right here in the falls, is this the time to catch your eye? Yeah, I mean, this is the time. And, and you know, we, we've, we've been fortunate. We've been recognized a little bit. Uh, you know, with the number 17 recruiting class from Collegiate uh, News and, and then also from Baseball America with being in the top 30. The big question is, is, is as they look around, uh, are they looking at some of those upperclassmen and seeing how they go about their business and, and learning because now is the time. Uh, when it's time to go, we better have those nine guys in our starting line lineup defined. We better have all of our roles for our bench players defined and, and then them also understanding that, that that's fluid. It, it changes from day to day. and and uh, you always have a chance, if you, if you don't like your situation right now, you always have a chance to change that and make it better by just putting in more effort and more work. Presented by Bud Light, official sponsor of Mizzou Athletics, reminding you to enjoy responsibly.